Hi everyone! In this part, we will organize the code by separating the formic and the form. Are you ready? Let's get started! Let's start from separating the form. Let's hide the browser for now. Create a registration form. That returns GSX element. And move all from the form make prop scope to our new function. So from here. To here we still need the formic props because it will handle our form but as soon as we do that like this we get an error because we are using the TypeScript we need to declare our function signature first right now we doesn't have one Let's skip it for now because we need to know what signature we want. To separate this, we need to know that Formic uses a property named component to load the JSX element. Let's see the data type of the component. So we can remove all of this and can create the component. Close the component and let's see the signature. As you can see, the component is using react.component type, which means React component, React functional component, and it has generic values. And see, that's a formic props there. Then we know that the function component should receive formic props values. In our case, it becomes formic props form model. Let's create our signature. Props formic props with generic form model. That return GSX element. Then we can put this to here. Remove this. Now it's already much cleaner, right? And we can use this. This is the most important part. We can use this. Now let's put the registration form. Now run it. Save. And we will see. It's working great, just the same. Good. It's working, it's clean, and easy to read. I think this is very well separated, don't you agree? Now you can even move this registration form to other files. So we don't need to see this, all of this. We just need to see the form in other files. It's nice. Hope that this video is helpful to you. And if yes, please do like the video and consider subscribing because it will help me so much. Thank you for watching.